is AFP.net Core MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to work with the AFP.net Core MVC to perform the career, read, update, and delete action with the entity framework Core. Let's get started. And in the previous session, we already use the command line to generate the database contact to connect our project solution with database. And inside the model and entity folder, we have the V8 project underscore DB contact has been generated. We also have the user model created here. For more detail, you can come back to previous session to know how to do the action to generate show item inside the entity. And let's go ahead to open V8 core project DB contact. You scroll it down to see the detail of the content inside the DB contact file. So now let me go ahead to do some of the delete or comment out of the code for the on configuration method here. Because in this method, it contains some of the sensitive information for the username and password to connect the database. Yeah. And based on the suggestion, we should delete this one. And then, because for now we have not delete the, this function to provide the username and password to make a connection between the uh, project with database. So we need to create other key and value inside the app service in JSON file. Let me create a new one here. It will be the connection string. And we have the Viet call project data by and then the values will be and we have a key V8 core project database and the values is this one and so now we go to the startup file in the startup class here scroll it down to the configure services method Inside this method, I will do some registration to call the service in the runtime to get the connection string from the app service notation file. Let's go ahead to declare a variable. Open the app service as app setting. You copy the name of the V8 core project database. Get it here. It will be the name of V8 core project DB contact. In order to use this one, we need to add some reference in the namespace model entity. So we have to add namespace on the top.
Okay, let me copy this one. And then provide a name. It should be the connection string. Connection string, yeah. And we have done the configuration. And then when we run the website, it will call the configure services in the runtime to get the connection string here. And then it will add the DB contact by using this connection string. That means for now, in this app, call the on configures to get the database contact inside this contact file. We can get it over the startup in the runtime environment. Next step, I will create a controller. In the controller, I right click on the controller folder, add button, and select controller. I will select the MVC controller with view using entity framework. Click on add button. In the model class, I will select the model e user data contact class. It will be the VH core project DB contact. And the next option to generate the view, I will select this one because I want this one will have to generate some the view file for functionality. I will also want to use the default layout of our project and click on add button. It will take the time for the Visual Studio to generate some of the necessary file. So the user controller has been generated. You take a look into this class. We have user control will be inherited from controller. And there are some the methods in the action result in the detail, create a new edit, edit with both action to update the content. And the next one is delete to delete a new request in the database. Delete confirmation. When we delete any request in the database, so this will call this action. If we select yes, it will perform the action to delete the request out of the database. And so now I will open the view folder. In the view folder, you see that we have a user folder having created. Open it more detail. And inside this user's folder, we have some the uh, HTML file had been created for create, delete, detail, edit and index the view here will be using to display the content for each action inside the user controller. So now let me open the layout. Inside the layout, I want to create a new item on the menu. Let me duplicate some of the menu here. Controller, it should be the um, user. Action is index. This one is user. Let me close this one. And then I will run this project. Go to the debug on the menu and then select start without debugging. On the menu, you see we have a users have been added in, and then it will direct you to the user management path. You see here, it will load to record from database. On the top, we have a create news hyperlink. Let's go ahead to click on this one. It will direct me to the create path where I able to create some of the new records for the user table. Leave it by blank and then click on OK button because for now the news view it does not apply the validation message. So it will 
allow the user to create a new record with blank data. So now just go ahead to delete this because I don't allow for blank data in our database. Delete, and then it will open up another confirmation page. It says that, are you sure you want to delete this one? And go ahead to click on edit button to perform the action. So now let me create a new user, enter the name, and then click on create button. So you see here, has been created, updated. Click on uh, detail to view more detail. Back to lead, it will back to the lead of the user and click edit button. It will open up the edit form where you are able to do some modification or update the content for the user. Click on save button. Tap, 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 create, okay. And basically you can buy on other previous lesson to do some the validation for this form. Delete if. So I think that's all for today's lesson. After you finish lesson, you know how to perform the create, read, update, and delete operation by using the uh, entity framework call in the ASP.NET Core MVC. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.